Hello everyone. So the uh, next presentation is going to be on binary uh, yin and yang uh, machine language, which will later allow us to or enable us to understand uh, assembly language, which is at the root of all other languages, all other uh, programming languages. Um, this is what would be called at a lower level um, and the higher le uh, level corresponds to um, languages that more closely uh, resemble um, spoken languages, such as English. Um, they are further away from binary um, in that they are not breaking down everything into binary components or um, referring to the binary in a direct way and kind of looking at things more um, in terms of objects in a three-dimensional world which we interact with. Now there are basically three levels. There's a low level, a mid level, and a high level. And the mid level um, is what is called uh, procedural programming as opposed to object-oriented programming, but it is uh, closer to uh, English than machine or assembly language. Uh, an example of a procedural programming language would be the old basic programming language um, or uh, the C programming language. Uh, so low level corresponds to machine language, assembly language, binary. Uh, the mid-level corresponds to procedural programming languages such as uh, basic, C, uh, as well as other uh, languages such as COBOL. Uh, and then um, at a higher level of abstraction, we have object-oriented uh, programming, which is uh, deals more with modeling uh, objects, uh, virtual objects, uh, upon uh, real objects in our three-dimensional world. I don't want to get too complicated with that because I'm going to lose people. And the whole point of this presentation is to explain how binary works. And you'll notice that the first column, once again, I've got the colors that correspond to um, the sun. And these, these are the colors that correspond to on. And if we look at the word S-O-N, which sounds like sun, S-U-N, uh, the word sun, S-O-N, does have the word on embedded in it, S-O-N. Okay, so the sun corresponds to, you know, you're on for the day when uh, the sun is out and you're off for the evening uh, in terms of using language. And uh, we see that white, silver, red, yellow, and orange represent on or one in this case, and black, green, uh, purple, and blue correspond to off. Now there's a reason why I have black there twice and that's to correspond to the spheres on the tree of life. So we wanted to get an equal number of uh, positive and negative spheres, but this is getting um, ahead of things. I've made charts to show this and I'm not sure how many people really got it because I didn't really provide any explanations. I had a lot of videos just showing charts, assuming that you would get it and uh, you get it if you have spent enough time um, working with magic and programming. So very quickly, um, the black squares below correspond to off and the white squares correspond to on. And in binary, when we want to get a number, we turn on switches corresponding to a number. And the values are 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and 128. Uh, and depending on which column you turn on, uh, you get that particular number. And you would add up 
the ones that are on. So we see that in the first row, we've got all black squares, or we had all black squares, and those correspond to uh, to off, so we get the number zero. Um, we've changed the colors here in order to show that we can use green, which is another color that we are using to represent off in order to set all of those columns to off, therefore getting the number zero. Now the second row has a white square in the first column, so we are getting the number one, and all the rest of the columns have a black square. So we've got uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. And that is binary for the number 1. The second row, we've got the number 2. So the number, the second column is turned on with a white square. So we get the number 2. Uh, the fourth row, we want to get the number 3, which is an odd number. And you'll notice that each of these columns are even numbers. So in order to get an odd number, we need to turn on more than one even number. We need to turn on the column for number 2 and number 1. And there are two white squares there, each corresponding to the number 1. And 2 plus 1 equals 3. The next row after that, we've got 4. And it's basically the same process. You add up the numbers that have the white square turned on. Now, the uh, slide has changed, and we can see that by using flashing colors in this case, uh, we've replaced the white square with the color red to represent on, while green is off. And uh, the first column corresponding to the number one is turned on to red and all the rest are to green. Uh, the row after that, the third row, we wanted to get the number two. And so we turned on the, the second column with the color red and column one, uh, column three corresponding to four, the column corresponding to eight, 16, 32, 64, and 128 have been set to green or off. And I just want to quickly say that, yes, the number 32 does correspond to uh, the 32nd degree of Freemasonry, and that indicates that at the root of free, the Freemasonic system is a binary process, and 64 does correspond to the uh, the, the Taoist I Ching, which is also rooted in binary. And in fact, we'll find that um, all religious systems are really rooted, all uh, valid systems are rooted in binary. Uh, the Christian religion teaches us about Adam and Eve, which is basically um, like saying in the beginning of uh, creation, we had yin and yang. You know, we had Eve evening and Adam, um, we might want to say David or day, you know, so we've got Eve in the evening and David in the day. Now the slide has changed once again, and in this case we decided to use uh, two opposite or flashing colors, uh, purple and yellow. So the purple represents off and yellow represents on. And uh, for that row, we wanted to get the number four. So we turned on or uh, set that uh, column with a yellow square. All the rest are purple. Uh, after that, we are trying to get the number five. Uh, so in this case, uh, we again decided to use orange for on, and we turned columns one and four to on. All the rest are off, represented by blue, and four plus one equals five. So once again, we get the odd numbers by turning on more than one, um, more than one column. In some cases, uh, other even numbers like the number six, um, it's it, there are no column columns or, or there are no 
uh, bits that have the value 6, so we need to use 2 bits uh, because we're basically doubling up. Uh, and the, the last one, we used silver or gray to represent on.